me ask you a question. What do you want more of? You want more money? More money, the more you have to worry about managing it well, and of course, more taxes. How about more food? You have more food, more weight, more cholesterol, who knows what that could add. How about more friends? More friends, more relationships, maybe more heartbreaks, maybe more tension. How about more time? When I used to teach at Anderson University School of Theology, our dean, Dr. James Irvin Massa, used to tell the students he would give them extra grace if they had to turn in a paper late. But the one thing they couldn't say was, I didn't have enough time. Because he would say, everyone has the same amount of time, 24 hours in a day. It's just how you use it. What do you want more of? There's a verse in Proverbs chapter 30, verses 7, and actually 8 and 9 also. It says, do not give me so little I'm in want and steal. Don't give me so much I deny you, but feed me with the food that is my portion. Maybe that's a good prayer. So, is there something you should want more of? Well, there's an interesting verse in Luke chapter 8, it's verse 18. To him who has more shall be given, and to the one who does not have, even what he thinks he has, shall be taken away. Him who has more shall be given? Time? Food? Friends? Money? No. Jesus has been talking in the first verses of the Gospel of Luke chapter 8 about the Word of God and the soils it lands on. Only the fourth soil, you'll remember, bore fruit. The fourth soil were those who received the Word of God in a good and honest heart, hold it fast, and bear fruit with perseverance. That's what we should want more of, more of the Word. And here's what Jesus is saying. The more you take in the Word and apply it to your life, the more treasures from the Word the Lord is going to give you. The more illumination you receive, the more illumination you're going to get. You see, there's a fine balance. One is we take in things as from the Lord. The other is we ponder the things the Lord says. And the more we ponder and the more the Spirit teaches us, the more we learn, the more we grow, the more we can receive. But to those who don't listen, even the little they think they have, they can lose and not be a student of the Word following the Lord faithfully. Him who has more shall be given, more of the word, more understanding, more illumination, more guidance. That's one thing we should all want more of. This is your daily devotional for Wednesday, May 31st. We're about to round the corner to June. Hope you're doing well. Seek first the kingdom of God and every day read your Bible and pray and ask the Lord for more illumination of his word. Be like the fourth soil. Pray for the church and pray for me. Pray for bring people, God to bring people into the kingdom. Pray for our services and I look forward to seeing you at Bible study tonight. God bless you as you serve him.